Lucario is the modern poster boy for all things Pokemon. It's definitely a fan favorite, both on and off the battlefield, and it's easy to see why. It's got good stats, decent abilities, great moves, and a pretty cool design. In addition to having itself featured in a movie, it replaced Mewtwo in the newest Smash Brothers. But as a competitive battler with 648 other choices, you have to ask yourself, why should I use it? Well, I mean, it, it looks really cool. I mean, just look at it. It's got the ferocity of a wild jackal, but it walks upright like a person, so you know you can trust it, you know what I mean? It's got spikes coming out of its wrists. That would hurt you pretty bad if he hit you with it. Plus, Lucario looks like it's wearing a mask that's a mix of Bane and Zoro. Its shiny sprite does have kind of a weird coloring, like it's infected with jaundice or something, but uh, we won't hold that against it. It's still pretty legit. Superficials aside, Luke has pretty good stats and some great moves to back it up. 110, 115, 90 offenses means it hits from either side with some power and a decent enough speed to back it up. Lucario is also of a select few Pokemon that learn both Nasty Plot and Swords Dance. If Lucario's base stats weren't enough to scare you, it can boost either side and hit you mercilessly. Fighting and Dark Attacks make a great pairing as far as type coverage is concerned, and Lucario learns great fighting and dark moves that hit either specially or physically. Lucario is one of the scariest Pokemon out there because you literally have no idea what to counter it with until you see it act for the first time. Plus, because it can boost both sides, you can find yourself in a situation where a single wrong guess can cost you an entire match and result in a clean sweep of your team. Now, I know I've been hyping up Lucario pretty high, but let me bring you down to earth for a second. I know I just said it's one of the scariest Pokemon out there, but it's only really scary for that very first turn. Once you know it's set, you can figure out how to counter it pretty easily. A special set can be beaten by Blissey, though you might need to watch that it doesn't nasty plot its way up to plus 6 on you, since its Aura Sphere does hit Blissey super effectively. A physical set can be stuffed by the standard walls of Fortress, Skarmory, and Gliscor. Mixed sets can typically be beaten by all four, since they usually have to split their resources and aren't as strong as they would be if they focused in just one form of offense. Luke is fast, but it's not that fast. There are a ton of faster Pokemon out there that threaten it with an Oko since its defenses are so poor. Plus, Lucario is weak to Mach Punch. These plans aren't foolproof, though, since Lucario has access to a number of scary priority moves of its own. Relying on slower mock punchers like Breloom to counter it after it sets up might end up backfiring, since Lucario is naturally faster than them anyway and could beat them with an extreme speed or a vacuum wave. Lucario also has the unfortunate distinction that it loses to basically all Gyarados. I mean, seriously. I know Gyarados came out like way before Lucario did, but it's basically like Gyarados was designed specifically to beat Lucario. Gyarados's great natural toughness allows it to survive long enough to set up a couple dragon dances and then threaten to sweep your entire team on the turnaround. So, now you know what it can do, and you know what can beat it, but how do you use it in battle? Actually, it's usually pretty simple. Being part steel, Luke has a huge number of resistances it can come in on to start setting up for the kill. Dark or rock type attacks are the most ideal due to its double resistance to them, but anything that isn't too strong will allow Lucario to survive long enough to boost and sweep. Also, if you use a justified Lucario, dark attacks will only make you stronger and help with the impending sweep. That is, of course, if your Lucario is a physical Lucario and not a special one. Because of Lucario's power, speed, and priority, Lucario shouldn't be taking all that much damage once it's on the field anyway. Plus, its defenses are such garbage that even neutral attacks hit it pretty hard. Now, I know it's tempting to want a clean sweep the instant Lucario enters the fray, but there's one very important thing to keep in mind. Lucario is great, but your opponent probably has an idea of what they want to do to counter it. Be very wary of whoever your opponent sends out to counter your Lucario. Even if it doesn't look like a conventional counter, 
whatever it is, will probably threaten to beat Lucario outright. Unless you know you can beat it in one shot, don't force it. With the offensive strength Lucario has, it's better to play it safe and withdraw it, even if you already have boosts, if you're not sure just so Lucario can stick around and try another sweep later on in the battle. So, let's recap. Lucario. Strong physically, strong specially. Relatively fast, but somewhat disappointing speed. However, that speed can be patched up with priority moves. Terrifying the very first time you see it, but once you know it's set, much more manageable. Oh yeah, it's cool looking too. Plus, it's one of a very small number of Pokémon that you can use to beat Link in single combat. That may not really be all that relevant to battling, it's just a cool fact to tell your friends. Yeah, I mean, sure, your Haxorus beat my Lucario, but did it beat the Hero of Time? No, I don't think so! If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for any future videos, leave them in the comments below. If you are interested in participating in our online Pokémon League, Click the link in the description for more information.